name's Natasha and I um, am part of the Crystal Palace part of Christ Central and I wanted to share with you one of my favourite psalms. It's um, one that I read very often, hence why it's my favourite, and it's brought me much comfort. There was a time um, when I wasn't sleeping very well at all. In fact, I actually dreaded going to bed. Um, at the time, um, I was in Chris and Naomi's home group and I was really reluctant to share. This was um, some time back. I was really reluctant to share what was on my heart that I really wanted prayer. And um, they um, had a time at the end of the group where people had things on their heart, they could share it. So um, Holy Spirit nudged me and said, come on, don't don't be afraid here. It's, it's okay to be vulnerable. Um, so I shared that I wasn't sleeping um, very well and explained um, what happens during the night and um, they all gathered around me and prayed it was awesome um, it was just amazing I really felt love and peace after those prayers were said and I slept well that night I slept really well that night um, and for a few days after and then it returned and I got scared all over again, um, dreading going to, going to um, bed, thinking um, perhaps if I just stay up until I'm really shattered, then I'll just conk out and I won't be disturbed in my sleep. Um, but that didn't work. Um, I started coming um, into prayer during the night. Um, so I would get up and put on a song or I would get up and um, read, um, and um, that that helped. Calling on God's word as well, calling on His name, just saying the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, and that really um, helped. Um, but the sleep was still a challenge. So um, I spoke to uh, a few people at church who I trusted and. Um, one one um, recommendation to me was to read Psalms 91 and to read it out aloud. So I'm going to read Psalms 91 out aloud. <laughs> he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If I make the most high your dwelling, sorry, if you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. 
with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. This um, Psalms has so much that you could unpack. I'm, I'm pleased to say now that I sleep very well in my bed, um, but that's not been without prayer and um, trusting and faith. And I give thanks to the people who persisted in that prayer over my life. Um, a part that I often think about within this Psalms is that um, we have angels that are concerned just for us. So you have your angel that is just to do with all of your business and I have mine. And I think that in all of um, what God has done for us and what's in place in our lives, he, he set aside angels that are just concerned for our welfare. And I think that's quite amazing that um, wherever we go, so off to the shops, queuing up, you're two metres apart, um, when you're sleeping, when you're, you're at work, anywhere, those angels are there and they are just concerned for you. And I think that's amazing. I think that's wonderful. I think that's beautiful that he knew that we would need that. Um, another um, part of this Psalms is that um, he will cover you with his feathers. And I had a picture um, one time of um, this huge, um, white, beautiful feather just over my bed, just hovering. Um, and that brought, brought peace. Um, there's, there's tons and being able to tread on the lion and the cobra, you know, that's um, standing up in faith um, against what's coming at you, that you have strength in him. And of course, if you dwell in his shelter, because he is our refuge, he is our strong tower, then you're safe and you will rest in his shadow. Um, so there's, there's tons and um, I'm so grateful and it continues to be one of my favourite psalms. And I hope that um, you're able to read it and take great comfort from it, as did I. Have a um, great day and I miss seeing everyone and I look forward to seeing you soon. Um, those who know me know that I'm a hugger, so I am super, super over overwhelmed and ready to, to hug, but not yet. But um, yeah. Keep safe, keep well. Bye.